Today in this video let's talk in detail about Vikas engine and its operation. Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO recently performed a third long duration test of the Vikas engine. The test was successful and it was one of the crucial steps to ensure both safety and reliability of the engine for human rated GSLV Mark III for the Gaganyaan program. Vikas is one of the most reliable engines in the world and have been successfully used previously on ISRO's PSLV, GSLV Mark II and GSLV Mark III. On this achievement of ISRO, I thought it will be interesting to talk about the engine in detail. But by the word in detail, I mean whatever the knowledge I have and the information that I searched over the internet. There is not much information available as most of the information about any rocket engine is generally exclusive. But as the design of this engine is based on French Viking engine, I am able to gather some information. And this video is all about that. The name Vikas is itself a tribute to the founder of ISRO, Vikram Sarabhai. It's an open cycle liquid fuel rocket engine that uses unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazine or UDMH for short as a fuel and nitrogen tetroxide or N2O4 as an oxidizer. UDMH is a hypergolic fuel. That means if it comes in contact with the oxidizer, it ignites itself without the need of any external combustion source. These two primary propellants flow through all the plumbings that you see here. The fuel and oxidizers are stored in the big tanks in the rocket body. There are pumps and turbines on a shaft inside this casing. Let's see how fuel and oxidizer flow through the lines. The fuel comes down from the main fuel tank through this main fuel line and it is supplied to the centrifugal fuel pump. Now the high pressure fuel from the pump flows through the high pressure manifolds. It is delivered to the combustion chamber through the fuel nozzles. Similar to that, the oxidizer comes from the main tank and it is also pumped through the centrifugal pump to the combustion chamber. And it is also comes out from the nozzles and mixes with the fuel to produce high temperature and high pressure exhaust. This exhaust is then converted into high velocity exhaust through this nozzle which provides thrust to the rocket. This engine runs on a gas generator cycle and it is called so because a gas generator which is this is used to run the turbine and pumps. Some fuel and oxidizer are bypassed from the high pressure manifolds through the lines to the gas generator. These propellants mix in the gas generator, they ignite and create high pressure exhaust gas which is then transferred to the turbine. The turbine itself has a set of moving blades and fixed blades. The shaft is connected to moving blades. The high pressure exhaust from the gas generator rotates the turbine and the exhaust is then run down through these two exhaust pipes. If you see these images of the actual test of the Vikas engine, then you can see the exhaust of the gas generator coming down through the exhaust pipe. The shaft of the rotating turbine is also connected to the fuel and oxidizer pumps and that way the pumps bring more fuel into the engine. The same shaft is also connected to this third pump and this pump is for water. It brings and feeds the water from these pipes and from the control unit to the gas generator. The water is sprayed into the gas generator. It brings the temperature of the hot gases down to avoid the damage to the turbine blades. This component here is called as the balancing cylinder. High pressure oil from this balancing cylinder is fed to the turbine shaft to balance the axial thrust that the turbine produces during its operation. All the pipes you see here are either pressurized nitrogen or hot gas lines and filters which are used to operate valves and control units. 
These components in the middle of the main propellant lines are called pogo correcting systems or pogo accumulator and are used to absorb any fluctuations in the flow rate and pressure in the propellant to maintain even flow in the chamber. This is the mounting plate where the engine is mounted to the rocket body. There are two hydraulic actuators that tilts the entire engine around two axes, which is also called the thrust vector control or TVC. It changes the direction of the engine exhaust in order to stabilize or manipulate the direction of the rocket stages in flight. You can see some of the components that we discussed in this actual photo of the Vikas engine on the second stage of PSLV. Here are the main lines that bring fuel and oxidizer, the pogo accumulator devices. Also you can see the exhaust line of the gas generator, the high pressure fuel manifold, turbine and pump casing, the plate where the engine is mounted to the rocket, the water pump, two thrust vector control actuators, combustion chamber and the exhaust nozzle and also this blue donut shaped water tank through which the water is pumped to the gas generator for cooling. I hope you learned something new. Comment section is always open for discussion. Subscribe to the channel if you find this interesting. See you in the next video. Stay curious.